This year's discovery as a dessert for me is this one. I have discovered it in a bakery and I fell in love with it. I want to teach you how to make it even better than the one I have tried. We named it called Milky Kadayuf. <laughs> yes. We're gonna prepare the whole thing under 15 minutes, including the cooking. First, we start with the sherbet. For the sherbet, we have 250 milliliters of milk and about 250 grams, which is a cup and two or three tablespoons of more sugar. I'm going to heat this in my saucepan until the sugar melts. Now, we have the kadayif. Kadayif in the Western world is called usually angel hair. You might not find this fresh, but this recipe goes well with the dried or, you know, old, not so great kadayif as well. It makes it better. I am tearing this kadayif apart. Why? While cutting and eating it to make it easier. Meanwhile, I'm going to heat my pan. We have one tablespoon of butter. I'm going to just heat the pan so that the butter just melts doesn't cook the butter melted but it's not very hot if it becomes too hot then it will turn the kadayif into a dough which we wouldn't like rub the kadayif with my hands like this this is called breaking the kadayif kadayif kırmak in turkish turn the heat off on the milk i put half of the kadayif at the bottom Turn the heat on, add pistachio in the middle, about 50 grams. This pistachio is green because it is like the green olives collected a little earlier, was not cooked. So when the pistachio is cooked, it turns more yellow, but we like this bright, shiny color that tastes a little better. And then we put the second kadayif on top. We don't throw anything away. These are the ones which are here. Normally in videos, you don't see this, but in life we see it all the time. Food waste is great issue. We we work so hard then we waste our food which we don't understand so we like showing these parts of the video as well to the sides with a wooden spatula i am pushing it to give it a bit of shape i don't squeeze the kadayif this much normally if i make a kunefe i squeeze the kadayif but in this one i don't my sugar and milk melted to this i'm going to add a bit of cream this is 35 percent fat it gives a milky flavor and also an addition is white chocolate this white chocolate gives Gives an incredibly nice flavor this is plain white chocolate you can use other types of chocolate too but this gives a nice taste my kadayif will be hot syrup will be cold one second as you can see now the color is changing I didn't tell you how to flip it I'm going to tell it a little That's later so yes I know I know the cream and the chocolate made it a bit colder but I want the kadayif to be hot and the syrup to be cold Normally you wouldn't need this. I put this tray in the refrigerator to make it cool as fast as possible. So I put it on a tray. Normally I don't like silicone. I don't like anything plastic in the kitchen that much, but these silicones help to lessen the food left in the cups. So I value them. How I turn it? A lid without corners. Put it in the middle, take it somewhere off the heat, turn it and slide. I reduced the heat for the inside to cook a bit more. Now my syrup is cold. My kunefe is hot. I take it off the heat. So while this is soaking all the milk and greatness and the chocolate, I am pushing the sides to keep it on shape. Now this is actually ready and we have three more minutes with my bad English and messing around. In 12 minutes, everything is done. This of course has to cool down a bit. It has to soak. So this goes to the side. When it's hot and you can eat it like that, it's also nice, but I've done one in the morning and it's already soaked everything. What we should do is like push the sides of the kadayif because we made it loose. Sometimes it doesn't get into shape. You can eat it directly from the pan or put something like this. This is almost ready. Some milkiness works well. Put a bit of milk for it to slide in our mouths and a bit of pistachio in the middle. Actually, both sides were almost same color when we cooked, but because it was at the bottom and it soaked more milk, the color became pale, but everything is cooked, don't worry. So all done, guys, that's it. <laughs> push the tempo, push the tempo, push the tempo, push the tempo. 
You might see a lot of Kadayev baklava recipes around, but the cleverness, the wow thing about this recipe is in the sauce, it's in the syrup, where we add some cream, which makes it more like milky in the mouth. And secondly, the white chocolate increases the flavor tenfold. The people who eat it don't understand that there's chocolate inside, what the hell is this thing which is so tasty? That's the feeling you're gonna get in each step. And these nice pistachios cover your mouth. But if you cannot find one, you can make with other kinds of pistachios without salt. Even with the salt, it's very nice. As you can see, so easy and people say, wow. And if you're saying Refika, our kadayif is not so tasty, this makes every kadayif tasty. So this is it guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Lots of love and happiness. Take care.